What's up everybody, it's Deep Berg. It's Ro. Welcome back to another episode of something new here in the Teak Life Basement Bar where we are trying a brand that we've had on before, but they have released a Reposado and wanted us to try it. And I, I mean, who are we to turn down anything, right? Especially when they send you two. Yeah, so it's, it. oh yeah, I guess I should show that right. packaging. I mean, look at that. If you saw that on the shelf, You'd pay like 300 bucks for that. I probably would. Like, there, there's no doubt about it. I probably would. But, you know, we'll talk a little bit about the Uno Por Favor Blanco as we go through this episode. But, I mean, this is just very striking. And it, the bottle is the same. It's just the colors are different. I think that's really, really cool how they did it. I've been seeing this for about a month. And i um, really looking forward to, to giving it a try. So... We liked the, the Blanco before. Like I said, we'll talk a little bit more about this, but their Reposado. This is very new. I don't know if it's been reviewed on video yet, so we could be the first ones. We'll just say it, we are. We are the first ones in the world. Even, and Pluto, and all oh, the other, I can't even talk any other. I don't even know, like, that's not even like a it's not, planet anymore. Well, that's a star? Yeah. Okay, so. Too small. So, global stars, planets, we were the first to review Uno Por Favor Reposado. But, with that being said, is there's not a lot of information out there. So, the color, I mean, obviously, as they can see, it, it, it's a nice golden color, um, you know, so you know it's been rested. But as far as aromas or tastes, I don't know. We're, we're kind of going in blind on this one. I'm going to go way out on a limb. Let's do it. I got it. Wow. I can't... Bam! How, without even opening it up? Look. Professional. You are. In toxicologist here. That's just what it is. Break out your degree from, you know, whatever university. MIT. It is. But, yeah, I mean, nice golden color. Um, But I don't know, you know, too much more about that as far as, you know, what flavors we're going to get. So this is going to be really fun. This is going to be a different, but what I can tell you is, is a couple things. So I know, I know a few things about it. It's, it's their Reposado, which is aged seven months in white oak bourbon barrels that have been, it's their second generation. So you're going to get some, probably some bourbon-esque type of flavor tones to it. Okay. And I know you're a bourbon guy, so that's like right it. up your alley. Um, it's distilled twice. And they still use that aerated oxygenation process that makes it ultra smooth. So everything that they did with the Blanco, they're doing again with their Reposado. So if we remember, and folks, if you haven't watched the Uno Por Favor Blanco episode, I'm going to actually put the card right here. Like you can see it right now. You can't see it, but this is some Steven Spielberg shit. So they can click on that and watch the episode and then come back to this. This is what I'm doing now. But they can watch it and learn a little bit more. But I'll also put it at the end. Because I know you they want to watch this episode. Yeah. So <clears throat> for me, you know, it, it's still staying true to the Tequila Uno Por Favor. Is no additives. No, you know, nothing, you know, is put into their tequila. So it is just one of those ultimate premium tequilas. Now... With that being said is some of these bottles might like you might buy a bottle that could be lighter i don't know like so we got two but it looks like probably from the same batch i don't know if they're one's a little darker but there could be variations with it so that just means you know some of the oak in the when it's rested in the in the barrel in the cask it could be a little bit darker from that so a lot of people that don't know, you know, a, a lot of, you know, bourbons, whiskeys, whatever like that, might think like, oh, there, there's something wrong with it. No, it just means that there's nothing added into it, so there could be that variation. And it also means that they're just not taking stuff out of these barrels and dumping it into no. one big giant, um, you know, pot <clears throat> and then filling their their bottles. Yep. So, um, you know, wood anything that you have to do with wood i mean that's one of the beauties of it you know with natural uh, products you know you're going to get different grains this that you're also going to have uh, you know some of them depending on the age of the wood it's gonna it's gonna have the 
different yeah. effect on the alcohol. It so. is. It is. So it's like, you know, with that even being said, is there could be a, a slight variation in the taste and the aroma, you know? So it, it, it just all depends. And I like it because it shows that there's nothing added into their tequila, into their process whatsoever. And the, you know, founder, uh, owner, Leobardo Trevino, I mean, he prides himself on creating an all natural tequila. And we've learned that from the past episode that we did. So this is enough talking because I've been looking at yeah. this bottle for a good, what, half hour now that we've been doing this? Probably. Probably. So let's crack this open. It's the same top and it's a screw top. So this is very unique, honestly, to the tequila and liquor industry as well. well so. It's gotta, are we doing a... Uh, so we're gonna do it neat. But the other thing about it is we're also going to try it with a whiskey rock to kind of cool it down a little bit. I don't want to do ice because I don't want to dilute it. But I think a whiskey rock, you know, because they're aged in bourbon barrels, it could be, you know, something that people want to sip. So going in, man, I smell. It has like a good bourbon-esque nose to it very uh not overpowering at no, all no no you know if i remember their blanco correctly i mean it was very smooth oh yeah it was extremely smooth and, and just by the the nose on this is going to say that this is going to be smooth yeah i think um i'm picking up some some good vanilla hmm. i can't really t detect any caramel which is a lot of times from the bourbon um you know realm you get the vanilla so, so did you get it? You get it from the taste? You get it. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's very good. So it's got a finish, you know, where, where it's a different complexity, where it gives you a different flavor. So up front, it's a little sweet, but it's not like, it's almost like a, a dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, in, in the way that it's not over overly sweet. You get it, and then, you know, to me, the after the app, the second part of that is the um, you know you get a little bit of heat, you get a little bit of pepper, and then it's it, it, you know it just it it comes and it it's gone. Yeah, like, it's, it's very, like a flash. It's very smooth. It's it's like you know back in the day where they had the photographers with the big light bulb, like it, it's like that. It's a boom. wasn't it gunpowder at one point? It could be. It was probably a weapon. Well, nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> what well, isn't everything? Mm-hmm. This bottle is basically a weapon. Mmm. That is delicious. That is really good. That it, it, It's different than a lot of the reposados that we've had, too. Um, it's just smooth. I mean, there's, there's not a lot of way, you know, another way to actually talk about it, but to say it's really smooth. It is. It's very smooth. It is. It, I mean... If you really want to know, they even tell you right on the bottle here, it's surprisingly smooth. Yeah. I would tell you that just by, you know, smelling it and letting air out a little bit, you could you can tell right away yeah. that it's going to be smooth. You, you pretty much can tell if you've had any kind of, you know, decent reposado, even in Yeho, whatnot. The nose is going to tell you if it's going to if it's going to be yeah. brutal or not, and this is this is very smooth. I enjoy it. I, I like their blanco as well. Yeah, their blanco was great. Their blanco was something that I didn't want to put into like a craft cocktail or anything. I, I could mm -hmm. drink it straight smooth because it had that oxygenation process, which is very unique. And we talked about it with um with uh, what wines where they they. They, they have that special decanter or whatever, so. Yeah, the air, it just opens it up. It yeah. gives it, it just gives Man. it that little bit. Um, this so is. It's, it's also distilled twice, right? Before they uh, yep. age it. Yep, so this is another one that is distilled twice and then it goes through a resting period in those casks for seven months, so. So it's it, not like a, man. so something that you guys think about tequila is not necessarily distilled. You know, vodka yeah. is all the time. Five, oh, six, eight times. A million. That. Right. Well, <clears throat> they'd have nothing left. Right. <laughs> but, it's water. <laughs> but this is a this is 
this is a fantastic um, reposado. It, it is. I think, let, let's try it on some whiskey rocks. Let, let's do it with. We, we got our ice bucket with some whiskey rocks. And here, here's the thing. So these are soapstone rocks. And I don't think we've, we've never used them for a tequila, have we? I don't think so. I can't remember. I, I don't remember either. So let's just, I don't want to break the glass. So we're going to slide it in. Let's just put it in real slow. Better effect. Well. So. You know, so I like these. These these are really good. This is what I use um, when I taste some whiskey. But, the, the, you know, here's the thing about it is, you know, during just our, our talking and me thinking about it is, this is like a summer type. It, it's like 105 degrees here today. And this is like a summer tequila, if you think about it. I mean, it's always summer in Mexico, though. Well, so, that's true. I mean, oh. Ooh. Yeah, I, I jumped in first this time. That's you know, feel make, how you make, feel. make a note of that. Mm. I okay. like it. I'll, I'll tell it's you what. Different on a whiskey. Like I'll I'll tell you what. Like if if I ordered this at a bar and I got like maybe a half flute or get it in a whiskey glass, something like that. You throw a couple of whiskey rocks in there. I'm happy because I'm sipping this all day. Oh. Absolutely. This, this is, is really good. Mm. I gotta say, Leobardo, well done. Like, just absolutely well done. I mean, I think this is gonna be another one of those to where we drink. Next time they see this bottle, it's gonna be way down here. What was that? That was a couple weeks ago, I think. Yeah, we just, you know. It was like, okay, so, keep going. It's but, just what we do. But the yeah. whiskey rocks cool it down enough to get a little bit more of the flavor. Yeah, you get a little more flavor. It tones it down a little bit more. I don't know why, but it just seems like it's... Um, I, I, I'm getting a little bit, just a little bit more of the pepper on the back side of it with this. And maybe it's just because it's opening a little bit more, but I don't know. Maybe, you know, I just, um, I still think it's a, uh, you know, ultra smooth. Oh. I like the fact that, you know, we are trying it a little bit differently than, than most people would. And, you know, the cool thing about this brand, and we talked about it before, is they encourage people, especially with their Blanco. I don't know about the Reposado, but... Mm -hmm. With the Blanco, if you remember, bring back the shot. So they were encouraging people because the bottle is shaped like a shot glass and take a shot. Like, drink it the way that you want. And for us, like, I would drink this all day long. Like, you know, when we have a party, whatever it may be, inviting people over, crack this open, throw a couple whiskey rocks and just have people sip it. Like, it's, it's one of those things, you know, you can bring back the shot, you can, uh, the big deal is is that as long as you're drinking it right yeah. and you're enjoying it drink it how you want to drink it yeah um you know i'm sure i can tell you when i first started drinking it was not i was all about how much mixer can you put in stuff right and then as your palate gets a little bit refined and you don't want to have a head o ha headache or hangover for four days, um, yeah. <laughs> you you yeah. start you start stepping up to some premium stuff. And this is a this is one of those great products where if, if you are ready to make that move from you know having a tequila neat or on the rocks, if you will, yeah, I, I would say that you could go here without breaking the bank. Oh, totally. I mean, it, it is just. A, a premium superior product um i i'm a big fan of what they're doing over uh -huh. there i can't even imagine if and there's rumors of coming out with an añejo I, I i know i mean i don't know what that's gonna do how that's going to be but i mean as far as the reposado wow but it's fantastic again like we've said in the past on other episodes you know you go to a reposado you go to añejo if your blanco sucks um, yeah, it's just you can rest it forever, however long you want. It's still going to have that same base product that you're working off of. So yeah. I think they're doing it right. Um, yeah. You know, they mastered that Blanco. They got they oh, got yeah. that. <clears throat> now you know. Now we got seven months um, aged. Yeah. Reposado and some great bur like bourbon barrels. Yep. Like that, that's I mean, the other key. Their añejo should be just as just as um, follow suit, if you will. Yeah. Well, there's another thing, you know, with talking 
talking with Leobardo that they're working on and it's not an Añejo, but something else that they've let me see that I'm really excited about. And I think it's extremely cool, very sexy too. So if we can get it on the show, um, he'll, he'll know what I'm talking about. Like it would be fantastic. But, you know, breaking it down is, you know, no impurities. So you could drink this all day long and not get that hangover, you know, not get that feeling the next day. And, and that's, that's really important. Yeah, for people that appreciate a spirit. Yeah, I mean, but again, it's because there's nothing in it. You know, the hangover comes from all the sugar and all the other yeah other stuff, right? Yeah, that that companies are throwing in stuff right now. Um, you know, I, I've seen a lot of them start with like ultra high premium proof stuff. You know, and, and because they they need to get it down to eighty, they just start adding yeah. adding to it, and it's it. It just it kills everything, and, and it's not good. They are not doing that here at uh, Uno Por Favor. No, so you know, big fan. I mean, the, the thing about it is, right now they're available in Texas and California. I mean, California is a big market for for tequila, and you know they're working on expanding past that. So, I I think it's the right move. I think with what they're doing, this will catch on. And you know, with that being said, is. You know, I couldn't even find a price point. So I don't know what the price point on this is. Okay. But I mean, for me, you know, even if it was like 70, 80 bucks, I'm still fine with it. I'm, I'm good with a, that type of a price Probably point. Probably just raise the price on it. No, no. Created the demand. This is just what, no, I, I, this is what we do. It, it, it's, it's uh, you know, a lot of people look at it. And again, folks, it's what we're here for. Education, right? Or yeah. edutainment or whatever we call on this, right? But this is not something that you're just going to want to pour out and, and if you're having no. folks over you're not putting this out on the on the summer uh you know picnic scene right <laughs> this is this is this is uh this is a product that you're going to let your you know just like you would do if you were a scotch or a uh a bourbon drinker you oh know, yeah you're gonna you're gonna keep this yeah. you know stashed away for your friends and the people that can appreciate it yeah you you can segment your friends and be like you know this is somebody i really like and this is eh, this is one of those friends where i don't really care for you're not getting this one the friends i really like this this is where we're going you're gonna get some some like uno por favor that's that's just my that's how i do it but i mean as you can see i, I i'm I kind of stingy we lock the door when people come over down here we do that's what we do <laughs> so like i said i don't know the price point i know it's expanding which is really good um you know watch the uno por favor blanco episode and you know, with that is go to teaklife.com because you can see the, the, the blog review that we did for Uno Por Favor Blanco and you can go to all their social media sites. You can, you know, check out, you know, where to buy it online and maybe you can find it on, on there as well. So this is just a really new product and, and I like it. And if you can find it, I would say grab it. Oh, totally. All right, so you see I brought down their Uno Por Favor Blanco which we have Teak Life approved before. Yep. And what do you think about the Reposado? Uh, approved. So this is a double dose because I'm gonna say Teak Life approved definitely all day long. And we have two products now from Uno Por Favor that are 100% Teak Life approved. This is just a very smooth, they're, they're both. I mean, they're both, they're both ultra great smooth. products, yeah. Really good. So Leobardo doing some great things over there at Uno Por Favor. So Teak Life approved all day long. Yep. That wraps up another episode of Something New here in the Teak Life Basement Bar where we reviewed Tequila Uno Por Favor and their Reposado. We both said Teak Life approved all day long. And like I said, make sure you look at and watch the Uno Por Favor Blanco. You're going to see it over here. I'm pointing to it right now. You see how that's done? Spielberg stuff, man. That's what I do. But okay. if you want to follow us on social media or contact us, go to teaklife.com where you can do all of that oh and make sure you subscribe like comment and share until then yeah keep I mean, pouring drinks i'm gonna keep pouring because this keep is pouring really good in. oh we should i'm gonna stop for now because i'm gonna tell them we'll see you next time oh later <laughs>